hot tubs may be having a moment, but they've been around longer than you might think. Civilizations have been using them for thousands of years. You look at the Egyptians, think about the Romans and the spa towns, but in terms of modern hot tub history, we're really looking at the late 1960s in North America. And in terms of the UK, obviously what has taken us by surprise is just the level of demand over the past 18 months. Seems lockdown opened the floodgates and there's no sign of the bubble bursting. Having a hot tub and just getting in that hot tub and just having that bit of escapism, relaxation, and you've got the fairy lights around it, it just it makes you feel good. It's a showy offy thing, isn't it? It's something that you can have in your back garden and it's like, Hey, why don't you come over? Look what I've got, hot tub. My children love the hot tub, absolutely love it. It's ginormous, they love the jets, they love the bubbles, and especially with lockdown over the last year, what else is there to do than to go into a goddamn hot tub? Hot tub lovers come from all walks of life and all parts of Britain. In the Lake District town of Kendal, you can find the parish church of St Thomas. And in the parish church of St Thomas, you can usually find the Reverend Ray Deville. Typically, I'd be standing here, probably more like this. Oh, it has been virtually my life, although I am now retired. This is the communion table, and this is part of what we call Holy Communion. We have a midweek service on Wednesday, so I will often come and do that. Keep me out of mischief. <laughs> These roses are coming out now. Oh, yeah. When he's not tending his flock, Ray's cultivating his garden with his wife of 55 years, Christine. When we first came to look at the house, we looked out at that view and we thought, tell you what, we'll buy this house. This is my, my favourite. This is my, my den, my shed. And I have in there all the things that might be useful one day to do the DIY stuff I love doing. But it's not Ray's shed that takes visiting parishioners by surprise. This is the hot tub, a great delight, which is very special. Ray was one of the first vicars in Britain to get his own tub, and he caused quite a splash. It was uh, 2005, uh, soon after we moved up here. Chris saw an advert on telly. And I thought that in retirement would be just wonderful. And this is an important element, because this is the shelf on which you can put your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you can't beat a hot tub when you throw in a wild party. <laughs> wild parties? We don't have wild parties. <laughs> um, no, we, we have friends, family, and we share cakes. Cakes? On occasions, I will go in there and I work out my sermon uh, because it's so relaxing and enjoyable. The tub was state-of-the-art back in the day, but lately it's been feeling its age. The lights are out and it hasn't blown a bubble in months. Over the years, one or two things are not working as well as they used to. Oh, I know the feeling. So Ray's called in the experts. Right, full service, let's crack on. A team of tub doctors are going to give it a good going over. Can they restore it to its former glory? The hot tub boom is enriching lots of people in lots of different ways. This one will come from Guangzhou in China, and it takes about six weeks on the water. As soon as it's left the water, we know that we can inform customers that the spas are on the way. The Tickles tub is arriving here at the Chesterfield HQ of Superior Wellness, the biggest hot tub distributor in Europe. They're having our new Barcelona, the 2021 model, with the upgraded insulation and upgraded jets. So Simon's just doing his quality check on it now to make sure that there's no defects, no damage to the acrylic. So far, so good. At any one time, the company has 4,000 tubs at sea, all heading to Britain. The factory in China churns out 500 a week, and still, they're struggling to meet demand. 500 a week for us currently isn't enough. We're taking orders for over 1,000 a week, so we need to increase our production. It's been a really crazy year for the hot tub industry in terms of supply and demand. There's a lot of demand out there, but not enough supply. And riding that wave of demand has turned Superior Wellness into an extraordinary success story. The spa is now in stock with us. It's been chipped over. Last year, they turned over £50 million. This year, it'll be 80. Back in the Lake District town of Kendal, the Reverend Ray Deville's having trouble with his 16-year-old tub. Number three doesn't work, right? No, no, the pump uh, hasn't worked for quite a long time. 
Today, a team of tub doctors are giving it a long overdue service. Have you seen how thick the insulation is? Yeah, oh yeah. Right. And they, don't, they don't make them like that anymore. They don't. Okay. Hot tub GP Jerry has been in practice for nigh on 30 years. Once we've cleaned the pipes out, that should enhance it a little bit. Right. There's not much he doesn't know about hot tubs or the people that use them. I was doing a service for a young couple and they had a flow problem, so I started <laughs> taking the pump apart and I pulled out a pair of uh, ladies' thongs and I said, this is it, whose are these? Well, unfortunately, they weren't the ladies and it didn't go down very well because she'd been away and while she'd been away, somebody else had been in the hot tub. Mm, the only thongs the Reverend likes are thongs of praise, but this water is anything but holy. We're going to clean all the pipe work out first of all, so I don't think it's been serviced since he's had it from brand new. His air blower isn't working, and what that basically means is the water in the air pipe hasn't moved for five years, so it'll be stagnant uh, and there'll be bacteria growing in that. A hot tub should be serviced every year, more if in commercial use. It'll cost you anything up to £450. And if that's not worked for five years, there'll be all sorts going in that is uh, Mecky Mill. Looks like there's all sorts in it. <laughs> a typical service will detox the water and flush it through, ensuring all the pipework's cleaned out. They drain the tub, change the filters and give it a thorough cleaning. This water's nearly ready to be pumped out, Si. Yeah. Whoa. Should work in a minute. But I go round it now with a sponge and get rid of the scum line, as they call it. Then when we empty it, it just makes it a bit easier to clean. Just so I can get into all the nook and crannies. Give it a right good clean. Four hours later, the water's clean, pump three's fixed, and cleanliness is once more next to godliness. Yeah, it's looking very good. Clean as I've ever seen it. There we go. All right to go. Here endeth the tub service. It's time for the Vicar of Bubbly to part the waters. It's just all-embracing, relaxing warmth. Ah, brilliant. Even if it's raining, it doesn't matter. Wife Christine's on hand to minister to his needs. Oh, you're very kind. You're very good health, my good wife. That's not the communion wine. I can't imagine a better environment for having nibbly bits. So I'll just carry on if that's okay. With his 2005 model, the Reverend Ray was ahead of the game. Hot tubs have become a must-have celebrity accessory, highly prized for their many benefits. If you're having a party, then it's really nice, I think, in the evening, and you want to get in the hot tub and have a few drinks, and it kind of, like, extends the party a bit more. It's very important for us as sportsmen and women to be able to use a hot tub, relax, get rid of all those aches and pains. Obviously, they say that water is very, very healing. And the other side is just hot and horny. Honey, it's great for the relationship. Duh.